Hello, I'm Stuart from Elite Optical and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Habrock multi-spectrum binocular from Hike Micro. The Habrock's called a multi-spectrum binocular because it's fitted with many different types of camera. On the front here you'll see there's a selection of lenses. On this side we've got an optical channel. This is a thermal camera which is capable of detecting heat sources. We've then got an IR illuminator. This allows the optical camera to work in darkness in night vision mode. We've also got a 1000 meter laser rangefinder that allows you to accurately judge the distance to your heat source. The first thing that you notice when you pick the Habrock up is how similar it is in size and weight to a conventional optical binocular. The Habrock, if anything, is slightly lighter than this binocular and it fits just as easily in your hands. So anybody who's used to using binoculars for bird watching or any kind of nature based activity will feel instantly at home when they pick up the Habrock. The magnesium chassis is really robust and it's IP67 rated, so you're not going to have any problems using it in the rain. So let's take a look at the lenses fitted to the front of the Habrock. On this side, we've got the optical channel. This gives you a high quality, full color daylight image. When it gets dark or in twilight, that camera can automatically adjust and it continues to give you a full color image right up until total darkness. At that point, you can switch into night vision mode using the inbuilt IR illuminator you can carry on observing animals right into the darkness. Over on this side is the thermal camera. There's two options in resolution, the 640 that's fitted to this device and also the 384. That affects your magnification. The 640 sensor has a three times base mag while the 384 has a three and a half times base mag. The advantage with the 640 is that you get a lot more detail in the image and there's more information as you use your digital magnification and you can start zooming in on the image without seeing so much pixelation. It's worth noting that this model is also fitted with Hike Micro's new Zoom Pro function, which sharpens the image as you zoom and you see a lot less pixelation. Both models use Hike Micro's own sub 20 NetD sensor. That means A, they're great value for money, and B, they're really high performance with cutting edge sub 20 NetD. That's the lowest temperature difference it can measure. So Thermal cameras are affected by weather conditions or if you've got two things that are very close in temperature. So on a hot day, it's also challenging. Sub 20 net D means it's able to measure very small temperature differences and it will carry on giving you a very detailed image, even in the worst conditions. Both the thermal camera and the optical camera are fitted with their own independent focusing system. This ring around the front adjusts the thermal camera where this one focuses the optical channel. The advantage of having both thermal and optical in the same device is that you can quickly scan in the thermal mode, detect any heat sources from nearby animals or birds, switch to the optical, and you can then see it in its surroundings, either in the tree or maybe some of the detail that the thermal camera misses. The last thing that we've got hiding on the front is the 1000 meter LRF. It's a really cool little feature. It allows you to accurately range out to 1000 meters and you've got several different modes, including a spot mode for a single reading, or you can have it running continuously up to 60 seconds. Okay, coming back on the top, we've got the array of buttons that control the device. On this side, we've got the power button. You've got the standby mode, and there's a little red indicator there that lets you know when it's powered on. Coming back again, we've got the camera. So a short press to take a picture, press and hold to record the video. You can also record videos directly through the Hike Microsite app when you're connected to that. Coming back again, we've got the laser rangefinder button. And coming down this side, we've got the color palette changing mode. We've got the menu button and we've got the zoom mode. And then coming to the back, we've got the dual eyepieces. Each has its own diopter adjustment. So you can adjust these to get it to match your eye perfectly. Once you've set those, you can leave them alone and use the image focus on the front to adjust for the distance. And we've also got the interpupillary adjustment. So that's just as easy as sliding those in and out to match your eyes perfectly. The eye cups are made from a really soft rubber. This is a pre-production model, but the final production versions are gonna have some clip back eye cups. So that'll make it a lot easier if like me, you wear glasses. Inside you notice the large and bright display. That's giving you a great view, whether you're viewing in thermal or in the optical channel, straight into both eyes. So taking all these features into account, the Habrock allows you to scan in thermal and quickly locate and identify hidden animals or hidden heat sources wherever you are. 
You can then use the optical channel to view those with a bright colourful image in the day or with the night vision mode in darkness. So that was our introduction to the Habrock multi-spectrum binocular from Hike Micro. These are available now from all Hike Micro stockists. Visit our website eliteoptical.co.uk to find your nearest dealer. Don't forget to follow our channel to see the latest news and latest product releases from Hike Micro and all of the Elite Optical brands.